One hundred percent. That's exactly it. <laughs> Losing a game, playing not too well, makes not a lot of sense. It's just when you think about a season, when you look back to other seasons, there was no season where you win all your football games. So now it's only if it happens, you just have to, to take the right, the right things out of it and make the right conclusion. And I'm now really pleased that we used that opportunity to to lose against to lose. And then reacting in the way we did today. So we will never find out, but maybe we would have wanted to lose with a fantastic performance and we struggled today completely against Brentford. Uh, That's absolutely possible because you have these struggling moments around set pieces, so you can't avoid them. Um, the wind plays a part. But how we control the moments we could control was absolutely exceptional. I think all the moments when we could keep the ball on the ground when we could play football, when, when Darwin connected the, the game for us exceptionally. Um, we were super dangerous for them. We scored wonderful goals, to be honest. And um, yeah, it was a really good performance against one of the most difficult opponents you can face. Neil? How pleased were you with the, the two sets back, the way they, they stood up to back, which called for aggression with the, you know, obviously, they beat that expert. Yeah, but, but that's, <laughs> yeah, it's not only centre backs, so they obviously played a really good game and, and it's super difficult. And I think that the, the big chance in Boma had in the first half, the pass was already exceptional. It was not a centre half there because after set piece probably and Trent was the 1 1 pass. You, in these situations, could have happened much more often because they are just that good. Um, but generally, the defending was really good and stand out in this defending what was really Darwin. So how, because it's all about that Brentford wants to play long balls, it's one thing, but it's, we need to know when. And we only can influence that by, by one player. And so when, we, when you start pressing from the center, you have to go for the goalie without getting the ball. And you pass it to the center arm, we follow that. So like the work rate was insane. It was our problem today, obviously. So we, we, we had a very young bench and in a set piece game, and with Harvey and then Lucho having not the, the set piece specialist, let me say like that, to, to bring on, um, was a bit tricky. So it was clear that we have to that a lot of them have to play really, really long. Um, and because Brentford never changed, they changed details, but not a general plan. You have one down, no problem. Two nil down, then you know, one set piece and game on. And um, so we came through that period with the six set pieces, I think, six corners. Um, I'm not sure that happened ever before they had six corners and didn't score. Um, it was really, it was just good focus, work rate. Um, and then on top of that, playing football and overcoming like a little uh, Costas Simicas example. So you, we, we all could see the difference between Costi before the assist and after the assist, that's football, eh? that's life. Um, it is helpful if you ever get a positive feedback and an assist is obviously a positive feedback. So very important. And um, a lot of players, actually all players really performed on a top level today and I'm really happy with that. Just a low seller here. <laughs> well, deserved. Crazy. six six Oh, basically, and go and and, and game num uh, and goal number two hundred, right, for Liverpool. And nobody celebrated the first, the second, the one, goal number two hundred in the first moment. That's very strange. Um, mm -hmm. Exceptional, just an exceptional player. We played a super game today. And we all know how difficult it is against these tall center back center halves, whatever, two players around him, all these kind of things. How often he kept the ball for us and we could play from there. That was super important and scoring two goals. Yeah. Um, we had so many good moments in the first half where we scored, but it was offside and things like that. And then in that moment, 
the, the composure for the first goal is just insane. There's no doubt if the ball is in that, in that area, then in the end you see it on the, uh, on the score sheet. So, pretty special player. Um, yeah. Well, Jewish. Football is, is strange. You would have asked me three days ago just about the feeling, not about what I know about it, about the feeling. It's like, uh, uh, what should I talk about the start? The start is the start, and now we have to play Brentford. It's exactly actually how I, how I see it. But obviously, you look at the numbers, you look at the games, you look at the results. Most of the time, it was okay or better. Draw it. A point at Luton didn't feel great. The, the, the Tottenham game in the circumstances obviously didn't feel great. Uh, don't know the other game. So it's it's absolutely all right if we just don't really think about it. So today it is we had to get through this game and we did. And we, the boys responded sensationally well. And now they're all gone again and we come back and we can train once and play City. Oh, and I, okay, we won, and I can, nobody can say Apple Moon, but it's how can you put the game like this on Saturday, 12.30? Honestly, the people who are, who are making these decisions, they are just, they, have, they cannot feel football. It's just not possible. They must, if, if that's the, the, the moment where, you, where the world pays the most to see a football game, nobody has to tell us. I don't know if that's the case or not. I really don't know. But I think there would have been a moment where you could that these two teams who have all together probably 30 international players, they all come back in the same plane, by the way. The South Americans sit all in the same plane and fly back. We pick them up and then Uruguay, Brazil, Argentina, all Colombia, one game, one plane, and then we arrive here. So it's really mad. Yeah, but the start of the season is the start of the season. And before the game against Man City, nobody will think about the start of the season because we just have to make sure we are ready for this game. So... It's all right, but not more. Last one, Richard. Charlie? Yeah, yeah you just following on from that. I mean, obviously, you don't know how City are going to do today, but at the moment, you're up, you're up to second, you know. Up. Does that feel good? Was it ahead of schedule? For you? No, fine. I didn't know it. That it's possible. Even I didn't think about it, but I got told. Um, yeah, it feels good, but it's November. So, that, but it's really important that we have the points, Tally, like similar to other teams, because we obviously didn't play perfect football yet, not even close. We fight ourselves through. We have good moments, lots of good moments. We have we showed today a top reaction. It's all fine, but in the end, it's, you have to keep going with the, all the other teams until March, April, whatever. If you and if you are still there, and we can start talking until then. It's just fight yourself through the most difficult league in the world. Be ready on Thursday, be ready on Sunday, be ready on Thursday. And if the Premier League has the opportunity to do it, then be ready on 12.30 on Saturday. Um, and then we, we do that. Thank you, Ariel.